I think it's about that time. Welcome back to the channel. It is going to be some CSFA action here tonight. The Collegiate Sim Football Alliance ready to do its thing. And if you were here last season, you are very familiar with these two teams here. It is the teams that went to the national championship last season. And it's going to be the Central Houston Polytechnic Bloodhounds taking on the Snip Snap Gang of East Augusta. The Blue Lops is over there in Maine. That is where this game is going to take over. But you already know we had to bring someone over on this side for the commentary. I got my boy, Casey Colby. Show some love to your people. Oh, man, I've already been doing it in chat. I'm glad to see people turning out. Uh, I got a few people watching already. I am nervous as hell, but I'm looking forward to it. Should be a real fun one, as we always do. Uh, we had some real interesting games, uh, both on the CSFA and the USFA all season long. We've seen 50 pointers all the way through in like three different games or two different games, something like that. But it's been rolling strong, so make sure you get on the field. You can head to our YouTube channel. Uh, so you can actually get on the field and see if I get our discord link and follow the YouTube channel. I'm kind of rambling, but it's all good. It's been a while since I got back on the sticks and I'm ready to get this one rolling. Uh, if you just po uh, popped in, you didn't see the, uh, the verdict here. I'll go ahead and flip it for you right now. And it looks like it's pretty split down the middle. It looks like, uh, East Augusta has the little bit of underdog advantage in regards to the one K Sims. But, uh, Colby, let me know what you're seeing here. Uh, does this make it a little bit more nervous? I mean, I do want to laugh at Dave real quick for predicting that neither team will get a touchdown. <laughs> Which, <laughs> and I know it's possible to get a touchdown and have that score, but given given what we know about both of these teams, I think we can call BS on that. Yes. Uh... I think it's more likely to be in the realm of what Danny's predicting. Uh, I do think a one-score game is, is pretty likely, and both teams being in the 20s seems reasonable. Most definitely. I uh, can't wait to see how this one rolls out. A lot of different people up in here. I see Turts. I see the homie Beast up in there as well. Can't wait to see who else joins in. Make sure you bring your people, your mommy, dad, everybody. I want to see some people up in this chat. But without further ado, let's go ahead. And hit that play game button. Kobe, you tell me when to go. I want to see it. If he wants to see it, I know the people in the chat want to see it. Let's go ahead and get this one kick started. Shout out to the people in the Discord holding it down. And we still got plenty of more Ladies room if you want to get up in there. And I did not turn off something. I knew I forgot to do something. Let me go ahead and turn this commentary off. I want to hear, hear no bullet passes today. I don't want to hear it today. Not today. Let's go ahead and get it rolling. And it looks like CHP is going to get that ball first in this one. Isagusa going to get it at the half. And wow, can't wait to see this one get started. I, I'm not crazy about the rain. Um, also, note who the kick returner is because a change was made in CHP. With Kevin Lee moving to wide receiver number one. I, I, I wasn't even going to say it. I was going to let you do it. I already knew you were going to bring it up. That's what we do I, up in I here. I campaigned very hard for the Bloodhounds to, one, go for the pass, and two, take some long bombs to Lee. Most definitely. They start on the ground that time. Don't go nowhere. But still got plenty of game here. It's going to be Kenny Khan right side, and that should have been picked off. going to be third and ten. And by the way, if you could uh, share screens with me, I'd appreciate it. Oh, sorry about that. Go ahead and oh, see. Oh, never mind. You got it. Kenny Khan, deep right side and double coverage. Not going to happen. And it's going to be fourth and ten really quickly. The season four champs get the job done on defense. But what can their offense do? They have the quarterback advantage here with Hank Falco. So we'll have to see if they can actually get something rolling. But it's first and ten here for East Augusta. Oh, and also with Lee being... Uh, YR1, he was the the gunner on that play. Most definitely. I think he made that tackle there. Didn't he? Yeah, he, that's, that's the reason I noticed it. Holy shit. Yes. It's going to be second and seven after that gain of about three. Dean Schmidt on the play. Let's see where they go here. Falco with his first pass of the day, trying the right side, and that happening there. 
I believe that was to the homie Ronnie Shanahan, but no dice. Actually, I take that back. That was uh, Giancarlo Velasquez, the tight end. Back go again. Left side's open. Shanahan does make the catch, but not getting the first. Two straight stops by both of these defenses. That right side here. Charlie Mack on the return there. I don't know what happened to that defender, but we're going to keep moving. CHP back on the field. Take number two. Let's see uh, if field position did improve a little bit. Yes, it did. On looking quick right side, and there's Ethan Holshin with the catch. The tight end making a play to move him down the field a little bit. Second and five. First completion of the day so far for KK2. The blitz doesn't get home. The pass does, however, and that's going to be a gain of around 10 or so. And off Edwards. Going to get maybe three. Make it two. Second and eight here. Five wide set. On right side, and look like the re receiver adjusted a little too much there, and it's third and eight. Could not quite tell who that was passing to, but we're going to keep it moving. Can they get the conversion in the Sagusa territory? Man is open, but the pass behind the receiver for number seven is going to be fourth and eight. I think that was Sumando, either him or Jottle, one of the two. I think it was Jottle. Mm-hmm. Worth the Nate coming up here for CHP. The punt is away, and Issa Goose is going to take over halfway through the first. We're almost halfway Well, he got first. one target and, and made it count, but... Pitch left side already, and Dean Schmidt smacked. He's going to be the homie Molino. I believe that's Jack, or is it Jake? It's one of the I two. Think, I think Jake's the kicker and Jack the defender. Yes. Schmidt, a juke move. He's going to get a little bit of that back. And it's going to be third and medium situation here. He's the goose leaning towards the balance mindset here. Going with the pass, going with the run. See who breaks out first. Falco left side and could not get it to the tight end. It's going to be fourth and five. Up the middle. Yes, force that one incomplete. Hank Falco looking to try to get something rolling, but the pressure has been getting to him a little bit. Charlie Mack trying to run it down. Does not quite get to it. It rolls a little bit more and picked up by Mack before getting stopped at the 27. And it's going to be CHP once again on offense. No points up to this point, but still got time. Edwards sniped again, but he does get one yard on that play. It's second and nine. And again, hit as he throws and not getting it to the receiver, but it's going to be offside, so move him up five. That was a big penalty there, making it second and four as opposed to third and nine. Oh, please throw Lee here. Single coverage on the right side. Oh, damn it. Edwards gets close to the first down mark, but not quite past it. Third and inches here. Four for seven so far. And off, and Edwards a snipe. Not oh. happening here. Montavious White with the play. Looking that like another lead. <laughs> yeah. That was a big play in the backfield. Left that linebacker on his own island. He took advantage. And that's going to be an Easter Goose stop once again. Matt Hammer getting past the 20 yard line. And we didn't really talk about the records here. Easter Goose is currently with the. Uh, Actually, take that back. I got confused. They're uh, two and one, and CHP is three and oh. Look at Juan Kamani. What the what was happened? That man right there. I don't know. He got choke slam from the heavens. I don't know what that was. But it's first and ten. He's the goose to moving up the field after that play. And off here to Schmidt. Nice blocking up front to get him close to midfield. In the second five. Big news for all the people here. Uh, Going to be putting out the stat sheet. Fumble picked up by CHP. And that's going to be on the stat sheet right there. Ethan Moore making the recovery. And it's first and 10 here for CHP. First turnover. 
End up Edwards, not happening. And the Cesar Goose defense looking like last year's in regards to slowing down that run game. Gonna be second and nine. Six for four at the current moment. Kenny Khan left side and could not hit his man. It's going to be third and nine. Four wide receiver set. Khan again under pressure. Overthrows his man and it's fourth down here. CHP. Wow, this is rough. CHP cannot get anything rolling. Nisa Goose is struggling too, but still got time. Don't fret your head over this. It's still got time in this game. Matt Hammer with the return. And, I, and I'm mm -hmm. loving seeing Lee yeah. sniping those returns. Yeah, no no chance for anything past that uh that catch right there to give him some more yards. But hey, Lisa Goose on the field again. Right side's open. Tim Huff with the catch there, and he's going to get past the 30. It's going to be first and 10. This is a straight-up missed tackle there. I don't even think he he dodged it or, or broke it. I think he just missed. Yeah, that was, that was bad tackle technique, if you will. But Dean Schmidt got hit with a guy that knows all about that technique. Rivera, the bot line, uh, defense lineman, taking him down. It's going to be a three-wide receiver set here on second down. And off again to Schmidt. Had a little bit of a boost there, but once again, the D-line says no. Third and 12. Go. Falco again. Right side's open there for Schmidt. Juke move, and he's going to barely get the first down. Sometimes you got to get the passes out and see if you can get your running back rolling. And Hank Falco so far doing his thing. Five for seven. Yeah, that's fantastic. But he's going to be sacked. It's going to be Patrick McGowan. Look at the man do his thing. Shout out to Hate Raider. It's going to be second and 15. Right side's open. Giancarlo, he didn't fumble that time, but he's going to be a third and 11. He said he was going to work on those strategies in this one. Left side's open, and that should have been a first down, oh, but not yeah, happening. Would have been. He had a blocker, too. He could have gotten about a 15 out of that. Most definitely a tough break there for Issa Goose. We've seen that happen so far this season. Uh, for the Blue Lobsters, had a good amount of plays where he probably could have continued to drive, but messed up and made look that Charlie Mack there getting past the 25. First quarter winding down, no points yet. Edwards again sniped, and there goes Tyler Geronimo with the stop. Second and 12. A lot of running backs have been hitting the backfield a lot this season. Checking into the stats, I don't think we have a running back that's over 200 yards total in regards to rushing yards. So, to, to be fair, I think it's a combination of some good running backs uh, going pro. Also, defensers are, are becoming a little bit better manned, I and mean, we're starting to see more active linebackers. Most definitely, and uh, Waylon Jottle out that uh, out route there is going to make it first and 10. We needed that. Kevin Lee to Kenny Khan's left, and right side here to Waylon Jottle for a second catch of the drive is going to be second and six. Four for 11 so far. Here for KK2. And off here, Edwards. And sniped again. It's going to be the senior, Blaze Henderson, getting in the backfield for his uh, first stop. It's going to be third and eight. Bobby Carroll with the help. false start. Going to make it a third and 13 situation. I like this better anyways. On again, right side is open, and Waylon Jarl does it again. Pass midfield, 2-43, to 43, as CHP is on the move. I think this is our first time getting in opponent territory. And off Edwards, not getting around that defensive player once again. And after He's, our traditional waste of a first down. <laughs> yeah, not happening there. Doesn't look good for the stats for Tom Edwards. 9 for 1. They're going to pass out here. Right side's open. Pass ain't happening. It's going to be third down and nine. Not quite a field goal range, but the homie Molino can do his thing with the kicks. 
going to be Kenny Khan second and not happen on that play either. It's going to be fourth down. and I think we're going to have to punt it. Yeah, this looks like punting territory here. Kick from here in regards to field goal be around like 60 yards. That's not, that's not going to happen here. Uh, kicking that one off is no good uh, in regards to getting it inside the 20. That's exactly where East Goose is going to start. Whose offense is going to start clicking first? Rocco again. Left side. Tried to drop it in the bucket, but I don't look like the pass was quick enough. It looked like they just gave the defenders enough time to get back in there, even though it was accurate. Second and ten here. Left side is open. Shanahan does make the play, and it's third and two coming. And off Schmidt around the corner oh, and great block. block for the first. And he's just gonna keep the chains moving. Both running backs aren't producing too crazy, but oh, and he turned away at the last second. I don't think he had enough time to throw it in the right spot because of that pressure. But it's gonna be second and ten. And off here. Dean Schmidt's going to get sniped in the backfield. There goes McGowan again with the stop in the third and nine. I'll go that right side. Ron Shanahan just takes this one out of bounds. Not trying to get the first. And it's going to be fourth and five, and both defenses are standing tall. With the little assistance of the offense, not really producing yeah. like normal. <laughs> but Charlie Mack here taking that one to around the 27. And we're at the halfway point of the second quarter. So far, no dice for either offense. Hand off here, Edwards, and he's going to get sniped again. But he does get two, second and eight. It's every first down, too. Does he have it at 100% on first down? I got to check. But I didn't put it before I put these games in. His right side, I'm sorry, middle oh. field is going to be third and eight. So many one-on-one -on -one situations for Lee, and it never gets thrown there. <laughs> okay, on, right side's open. There goes Ethan Holshin, the flag on the play. I think it's on East of Goosen. No, it is not. It's going to be a hold, and it's going to be third and 18. Well, now they have to pass it deep, so maybe at least they'll try Lee. On the second right side, Waylon Jottle, and he's going to go short. No dice there for CHP, and another punt coming. Well, at least Lee adds value on the punt team, and I do mean that. Wholeheartedly. Uh, Matt Hammer again, getting that to around the 32 yard line. Back on offense, Isagusa goes. No points up to this point. Got a five wide receiver set. Falco again. Looking middle field. There goes Tim Ferguson getting the catch at the 49 yard line. Maybe that could get something cooking. Falco again. Had to throw that one away. Nothing happening on that one. Second and 10. Side caught by Shanahan once again, unable to uh, take it up the field a little bit more. But it's third down and seven. Definitely looking for a first down here. Going five wide, protection solid right side, and not happening on that plate. Fourth and seven coming up. Maybe that one prediction in the beginning was uh, pretty accurate up to this point. <laughs> uh, I mean, there have been zero long passes to Lee. And I could have sworn B said he, he went he went long. Um, Kenny Khan, right side. There goes Waylon Jottle. Shrugs one man off. And it's going to be first and 10 at the 38. And off Edwards. Gonna take that one to around the 41 yard line. 
And it's going to be second and seven. Edwards getting the first down there. Um, looking at the first down calls for what I'm seeing here. Looks like 30 70. Yeah. Wow. Or first and medium. Yeah. And there's finally a long pass, and it's not to Lee. Second and 10. Oh. Excruciating pain. Kenny Khan left side. There goes Lee there. Wanted to come back come route. Back. Yeah. It's 40 yard line here. CHP on the move. Well, we're almost in range to get the first points of the game. Kenny Khan hit his throws, and can Kevin Lee oh, just snagged that damn. one. And that will that was a pick. Yeah, that looked very interception wise. He picked a pick on that one. <laughs> Second and two. CHP is in range to get something going in a drop there. But they're in field goal range, so should be able to knock it in from this distance. But I'm sure they want more than just three. We got 54 seconds left here. So left side, and there goes Lee and just made one man miss, and that's all it takes. CHP on the board. Do you notice that Lee tends to get his in streaks? Kind of, sort of, yeah. <laughs> Against uh, Mile High U, it was like three catches in a row to tie it up. CHP on the board, seven to nothing. And now it's on Nisagusa to see if they could tie this one up. And, and Turts, just so you know, Nine to six is very much still possible. <laughs> yep. Yep, definitely still possible here. We could we could still get a safety. Right side, right in the middle of the field, and it's not happening. Well, middle of the right side of the field. And Isagusa having a little bit of a drop problem here. Taco again. Know the field and another drop. Now what you want to see, uh, surround yourself with the best quarterback at the current moment in regards to just updates alone. Uh, receivers got to make the plays um, if you're trying to get to the right side of a victory. And I don't think CHP is going to be able to get on the board again this half. I'm surprised that EU. This didn't just let the clock run out, though. Charlie Mack going to take that one. They still got two seconds to do something. We'll check over the stats when this one's over. But here comes Kenny Khan. Going to try this pass here. Quick to the right side. Mondo Garcia gets on the score, the box score there. And almost hit the quick game button like accident. Oh, that would have been tough. But, um, <laughs> but um, yeah, we are at halftime. Seven to nothing. Is your score? Only oh, had that one TD there to Kevin Lee, as you just saw. 10 for 19 for 92 on the day for Hank Falco. 12 for 24 for 131 TD. So at the current moment, the freshman is showing the senior how to do this thing at the quarterback spot. Uh, let's see what's happening in the stats here. Uh, four tackles, two tackles for loss there for Blaze Henderson so far. Four for 60, one TD for Kevin Lee. And Patrick McGowan so far got the sack, got the three tackles, and the tackle for loss. Um, going into the team leaders here, Ron Shanahan, four for 18, two for four, two for four for Giancarlo Velasquez, Tim Huff, one for 19. And that's just on the receiver side, the rushing attack on both sides. Leaves a lot to be desired, uh, if we, and that's just putting it lightly. 53% uh, there for Falco, 54 Kenny Conn, second. And Waylon Jottle, 5 for 62. 4 for 60 once again for Kevin Lee. Mondo with 1 for 3. That last catch you saw before the half. Uh, Jalen Ramsey Jr. with 3 tackles. CJ Moore with 3 tackles. Geronimo with 3. And uh, the new linebacker, uh, Kyle Lemke. I see you over there, homie. 3 tackles so far in the day. And Ethan Moore over the CHP side with 2 tackles. Patrick McGowan got that sack. Um, Flame Dragon with 2 tackles. Kevin Lee. Even doing this thing on defense, but it's mostly on those special teams with four tackles already. So you add that to the stat board. 
And it uh, looks like Molino with three tackles so far with a tackle for loss. I, I kind of want to create a gunner now, <laughs> like max speed and force fumble, and just see if I can rock punt returners. <laughs> we ha- haven't seen any fumbles on punt returns or kick returns. So never that's something that hasn't been tried. Who knows? Never know what you could do. We think we could do that for your uh, for your uh, filler player. <laughs> like just oh, that's not a bad idea actually. Mm-hmm. But uh, 38 plays to 29 in regards to the total plays here, 144 to 104. Not a lot of action up to this point. A lot of drops uh, that we've seen up to this point. Only one sack and only one turnover, both in favor of CHP. So let's go ahead and get back into this ball game here. Let's start the second half like that. And looking at the clock for the video, we're at 30 minutes. So it looks like I don't know what it is, but it looks like it's working now. Like it's not like like logging on all day with the game. I don't know what's wrong with it, but hey, we're gonna keep it moving. Magic Mahomes with this return here is gonna be first and ten. Issa Gusta on the board or on the clock to try to get on the board. Pitching it right side to Schmidt. Fumbles and CHP is gonna pick it up. It's gonna be Sanchez on the return. And CHP's back in range to get some points. Well, that turned the tide quickly. Really quickly. Kenny kind of second under pressure still finds Garcia and he's going to get the first. That was one of those pressure cooker plays right there. You know, you you don't expect the pressure to be there, but sometimes you just got to trust your receivers. Waylon Jottel again makes one man miss and tried to lunge for the end zone, but he's going to get stopped at the two. CHP's on the move. And off in Edwards. Stopped right at the line. It's going to be second and goal. Yeah, you stacking up the line. See if they can try to stop them, and they do. Right in the backfield by Blaze Henderson. Looking like a wily veteran right there. Can't wait to see what he does in the big leagues next year. And he's trying to bring a championship back to East Goose again. Sack fumble, but it's going to be picked up by CHP. And Blaze Henderson with the sack. And it's going to be fourth and goal. And to answer your question, Turtz, a burner would be the, the one with that 95 speed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just get as fast as possible. Well, if you're doing a fill, you can't go all the way 95. Well, can you? I was I was saying for pros. Oh, yeah, yeah. Initially talking about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then put everything you can into force fumble because your average uh, punt returner is not going to have any, any fumble prevention, you know, because it's going to be a defender. So you can force some fumbles if you're always the first one there. Right side here and dropped again, and that looked like a first down if he did catch it. I mean, yeah. Not not really because the punt returner will always be – like you can't have one person be your punt and kick returner, so in that sense, no. Should have been picked off right there. Third and ten coming up. Right side, and Giancarlo's going to catch it that time, and he's going to get the first down. East of Goose on the move, and they're not out the game by any stretch of the imagination. Plenty of time, but at the current moment, the offense does need to uh, take the anchor up real quick and see if they can move down the field a lot more efficiently. They're going to get two on that carry. Um, Adding what in 23, like being able to change your player like to a punt returner. Um. I don't know if that's been discussed personally. Because I know you could do it within the game, like if you're actually playing with actual teams. But I don't know if they're actually doing it like that. It looks one like Kamani oh, wow. getting inside the 40, and Issa Goose's offense starting to turn up. They say no. Hey, Falco, it looks like he's sending everyone deep, going to toss it right over. Right over the 10 yard line there had uh, the homie Magic Mahomes go as fast as he can and had Ronnie Shanahan just trail him and he left him rolling. 
Falco again. Quick left side. Giancarlo snapped back by two defenders in a second and goal. I feel like EAU is really uh, mixing it up more and throwing to different receivers. Mm hmm. Dean Schmidt, juke move, and he almost got past that second guy, but it's going to be third and goal and at that dreaded three yard line. Everyone hates the three yard line here in Axis. And if I tried to run, juke move, and he's going backwards, I called it. Pablo Sanchez, the third, making the play. And he's Segusta looking to get their first points of the day. Okay, so Quattro shanks it. Not happening. Well, this gives CHP a lot of field. If ever you're going to throw a deep to lead. Looking quick right. Not happening on that play in the second and goal. Yeah, um, Mile High won season one and season two. Hit in the end zone, and luckily for CHP, they didn't uh, sack fumble of that one. But it's going to be third and ten here. And it could set East Goose up with some good field position if they could get the stop. They send the blitz, don't get home, and drop by Edwards. Not happening, and it looks like East Goose is getting that ball back. Looks like Turt's uh, rooting for his former team. I remember he was playing for... Uh, cheese when he was running east of goose i remember those days there's going to be matt hammer taking that one to around midfield or so halfway halfway home three wide receiver set here east of goose the right side giancarlo velasquez getting eight and it looks like their passing game is picking up just a little bit here they're starting to see a little bit less drops and Let's see if Beast Goose can keep it rolling here. Probably a run. Yes, it is. And do real good blocking on that left side. And give him 10 more with the face mask. Now put him in field goal range. And off here and sniped. Not oh, happening. Wow. Patrick McGowan is looking like a beast. It's going to be second and 14. And I think that's out of field goal range for Ricardo Queso Quattro as well. Can they get it to him? Not happening for Magic Mahomes. Have we seen a catch from Magic Mahomes yet? I, I have it. I was actually going to remark on that earlier. Hmm. We're going to be third and 14 here. Looking for a man. I'll go again. Left side. And off the hands of who I believe was Ronnie Shanahan. Not happening. Believe, this third fourth for 14. And I believe that would have put them in range of his actual leg. Yeah. Okay, so Quattro missed the gimme. He has the leg on this one, and it's to the left again. He actually had enough leg to get it on that one. But it's not happening. Issa Goose is still sitting with the goose egg. Five wide receiver coming up here for Khan. He's going to pass it, and he's going to get a nice catch there to Sean Stanley. It's going to be second and six. Pitching it again. Right side is open this time, and this time he catches it. Edwards down the sideline to the 20. Makes one man miss and going up in there. CHP. He said, let's get into the end zone. And CHP's up 16 nothing. Make that 17. And Issa Goose is kind of down bad with 12 more minutes left. Still in the game, in theory. But they'll need to get something rolling here in this drive for me to believe it. Edwards is now the leading receiver on the team uh, for this game. Yes, he is. You sounded very depressed when you uh, heard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think what happened is Beast made me the number one, but then he didn't increase uh, the the long range pass. Mm -hmm. Left side and we're not, and, really, we're not really launching downfield much. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Shanahan, 6 for 63 so far in the day. They're going to pass it again, and it looks like Shanahan with another catch. Make that 7 for about 68, something like that. I forgot what I said the first time, but it's going to be second and 5. Hey, I called it right. Hey, look at my memory doing good stuff every now and then. Hand off Schmidt, not getting around that defensive lineman, and it's third and 2. Uh, let's see. 
Falco, right side not happening. Good defense there from CHP, and I thought they would have had a shot to get to one of their men. They blitzed a good amount of players there, but not happening on that play. Nice punt there, a nice. and it's going to be at the one-yard line. RQQ getting them stuck. Let's see if EAU yeah, can get on the defense. This could be a safety. They are going to run. It makes two men miss, and I thought he was going to break that one, but it's going to be second and two. Hell of a run from Edwards when we needed it. Give him some breathing room, and they go to the pistol this time around. They're going to give it to Edwards again. Makes two men miss in the backfield, and he said, stop doubting me, coach. I said, I got this. That's what Edwards said to me on the sidelines. That's what it said. It's going to be first and ten. He's going to try him again, but he doesn't stop that time. Tyler Geronimo on the play as we end quarter number three. You can throw your fours in the chat just because you love me. It's all good. Seven viewers up in here. I need to see some people up in here, man. Come on now. Four wide receivers set for the first play of the fourth quarter. And that happening on that pass. Third and ten. And Beast is very adamant in saying that he increased it. Oh. Waylon Jodl once again with the short catch, and Issa Goose is getting this ball back. Now the one time I get to see Lee do something. That's tough. Hey, you kick into the right side of the field. And, and Lee still gets there first. <laughs> <laughs> That's that 89 speed right there. He ain't playing games. First and 10 coming. He's the goose looking to get some sort of points at this point. Left side here, Shanahan makes another catch past the 40. In the second and three, both quarterbacks and uh, both game plans appearing to favor that short pass pattern in this one. Second and three coming up, handoff Schmidt and sniped again. Patrick McGowan is just making it look easy. And one of my favorite games I've seen him play. Yeah, he's had a lot of big stops. Sending the blitz, left side's open, Magic Mahomes not gonna get touch, and I finally get to say a snip snap gang. I knew I was gonna say it eventually, I know they weren't gonna let me down, man, but it's 17 to 6 here, and big uh, extra point here for RQQ, and it looks like he's gonna knock it through, and Isagusa needs to get another stop and keep it moving, but... That's definitely helpful to see there for East Goose getting on the board. And CHP's not out of the water yet. Kevin Lee looking at speed on the return, though. Like, that's, that's just beautiful. First and 10 coming up. Turk saying he's going to snip snap the defender's neck in half. I mean, you can't coach speed. That's all I got to say. Left side is going to be Waylon Jotto. He makes one man miss again. Down to midfield. And CHP on the move. And, that, and honestly, I might start saying that kind of like how you said. I don't even know if they're even making the miss. They're just like, eh, that's not a good tackle. Uh, <laughs> not, to, not a good tackle try. Second and seven here after that play. And it's four wide receivers here. And off Edward sniped. Not happening. And Blaze Henderson again. He said, hey, you ain't going to be doing that all game long. It's going to be third and nine. Definitely not one of Visa Goose's best tackling days from what I've seen. Left side and deflected. Nice job there. And that was to lead deep. Uh, yeah, not happening. Fourth and nine. It's either a drop or a deflection. It's hard to say. It's kind of hard to say. Left side and it looks like that punt luck is going to go in CHP's favor down at the four. That is what uh, Molino could do for you. He is the new... Kicking leader in regards to kicking stats. Dean Schmidt getting some breathing room for his quarterback in a second and six set situation here. Dean Schmidt not that great at the current moment, but they're looking for a play. Right side's open, and Juan Kamani says, I got you, coach. Down at the 32, and Easter Goose is on the move. Big drive here as they move to the jumbo set. Faking the handoff here. Right side's open and dropped again. That was Magic Mahomes.
20 for 35. Hank Falco doing what he can. Right side's open again, and Juan Kamini comes through again. And it's the first down movement there for Isagusta. Taking the handoff here. He likes those play actions, but that comeback route ain't happening. It's going to be second and ten. Five wide receiver set. Right side's open. Shanahan out of bounds at the 45. It's third and two. Dragon Rage plays games. I ain't see you, but thank you for the follow. It's going to be Falco. Right side's open. Juan Kamani again. And he's going to get hit out of bounds there at the 23. Isagusa not giving up. Love to see the fight here on Twitch Prime Time. Going to pass it again to the left side. Ronnie Shanahan can't make the first man miss, but they are inside the 20. And a field goal here will make it a one possession ball game. Clock moving a little quick here. It's going to be Falco left side. Cannot connect the dots there. And I think if he waited a little bit and looked a little upfield at the left side, he would have had magic by himself. But it's going to be 37. Passing it again. Right side wide open. And Shanahan makes him pay another first down. And Isagusta inside the 10. Turk said jinxing is a real. I'd like to say cap. And it looks like he's sending everyone deep in the end zone. And incomplete. Very, very testy pass there. Left side is wide open, and Magic Mahomes makes some pay. It's the goose. I'm about to do it again. <laughs> snip, snap, gang. You ain't dead yet. It's going to be 17 to 13, and we still have four minutes left in this one. Extra point is a good thing for CHP that they missed it. And as here comes a first, and I'm about to say it again, a kickoff coming up here for CHP to get. And... Now Isagusta has no chance but to get another touchdown if they're looking forward to victory. Well, a field goal can at least keep it a full touchdown game. Yeah, and indeed. With our, with our kicker, I, I would be okay with us settling for that. Mm -hmm. Isagusta will need to stop in the score if they want something rolling. A good tackle there, and it's going to be a gain of one. Second and nine coming up. Con right side. Well, Jotto first down and keeping the move in CHP on their way up the field with the final three minutes coming. And up here, Edwards. Two men missing. They're keeping it moving. Another first down. And the Bloodhounds, they're growling a little bit. Like, Man, if we don't get a pass, <laughs> the next couple plays, there won't be another chance for one because we're about to hit run. Run it out mode. Run it out mode. Yes, and another big carry there for about seven. Issa Goosed looking for the stop, and CHP is closing the field goal range here. As they send the blitz, doesn't quite get home. Open, Waylon Jotto, and he's just coming through for the man. This is definitely his breakout game, for sure. See right there at the bottom, a lot of targets, and he made... The Isagusa defense pay a lot of pressure. The Wailing Jaw is going to make one man miss and almost get into the end zone as Isagusa calls timeout number one. And they're looking for one stop at this point. Hold them to three and you got a shot. And off here, Edwards not getting around that defender. There goes Montavious Watt again. And it's going to be second and goal at the five. He's the goose of looking for one of those prime fumbles there. Right side's open. Over the head of Jottle. Not happening third and goal. That does stop the clock as well. And off at words. Not getting past that defender. He's the goose of calls their final timeout. And CHP in the spot to get the field goal. Make it a seven-point game just like you said. You called it beforehand, and they're going to do just that. Easter Gusta. Easter Gusta. 
You got 90 seconds to make a play. What can you do? It's going to be the homie Magic Mahomes on this return here. Looking to get his speed rolling past the 25. And it's going to be first and 10. I'll go again. Right side. Off the hands of their receiver. It's going to be second and 10. Going short there. Second and 10 here. Sending the pressure. Doesn't get home to pass. Low off the mark there. Third down and 10. And they're already down 15 seconds and went absolutely nowhere. You don't want to see that. Right side. And there's another short play. Not happening. And it's going bad so far for East Augusta. They'll need to go up the field if they're looking to try to get this drive rolling. And they only have one play to do it. They're going to try short again, and Shanahan's just not going to cut it. Game. Tough, tough break there for Issa Gusta on that uh, play call in late. And it's going to be in the favor of CHP. Right. I'm going to go ahead and kneel out. Second and 11. Third and 13 here. They burned through those really quick. But they are going to try the field goal, I guess. I didn't expect that. I don't think they'll actually kick it, though. Yes, they will. And it looks like he's got buckets on his mind just for the dagger. Wow. He said he got it for 51. Wow. Well, 36 total points. That's... Definitely less than expected, but not much less. Two seconds left, and that should be ball game right there. Magic Mahomes going to run this clock out, and we have ourselves a ball game in favor of Central Houston Polytechnic. Final score, 23-13. to 13. And it looks like CHP is going to get their revenge from the last time these two teams played in the national championship. So solid job there. Kenny Khan, the second, gets a big victory against a big dog team. Let's check into these stats real quick. No interceptions by either side. Both of them threw two touchdowns. So, big ups to both the homies here. Not, I know the defenders hating because they had a good amount of opportunities to get some interceptions. But, hey, that's how the game crumbles sometimes. Uh, checking into the stats here. Nine tackles there for Blaze Henderson. A solid day. He got his sack. Four tackles for loss. Uh, Patrick McGowan, ten tackles. Three tackles for loss. He's got a sack. So, very, very uh, reminiscent. Stats here by the two big dogs at the linebacker spot. Uh, 295 for Kenny Khan. 344 for Hank Falco. 56% um, for Falco. 54 for Khan. Solid job. Once again, not a lot of big runs on either side outside of the last bit portion of the fourth quarter for Edwards. Uh, but can't be mad at the results. Got the victory. Um, 10, 19 for 20 for Schmidt. 24-56 for Tom Edwards. Kevin Lee ends the day with four for 60. Uh, had a couple of drops. Um, and once he... Yes. Uh, not the greatest day, but looks like Waylon Jotto said he could hold his own if given the opportunity. 11 for 147 on the day. And it looks like Mondo Garcia, two for 14. Solid job. On the other side, 12 for 99 for uh, Ronnie Shanahan. Uh, Giancarlo Velasquez, 5 from 30 from the tight end spot. Juan Kamani had some real big catches there for East Augusta. Just fell on the wrong side of the uh, wrong side of the game on regards to losing. Uh Tyler Geronimo, 8 tackles. CJ Moore with 6. Matt Hammer with 4. Kyle Lemke with 5 in his first game. Looking forward to seeing many, many more from you. And uh, Ethan Moore with 5 tackles. Uh, once again, Patrick McGowan with 10. Uh, Pablo Sanchez the third with seven, Flame Dragon with three, and going into the total plays here, um, 69 to 68, nice by the way, uh, 348 to 359 in regards to the total yards, and let's see here, both teams got a sack, and it looks like Central Houston Polytechnic got the turnover battle, which definitely aided them in this victory as well. Um, 
as we're going through these, uh, what are your thoughts on this game outside of uh, your lack of production on the offensive end? <laughs> as always, I hate seeing Edwards get over 20 carries. <laughs> Is that it? That was all you got? <laughs> I mean, I don't get what else to say. <laughs> update in the booth here I, 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 I'll, I'll get your favorite snack or something uh, from the kitchen counter or something to see if I can help you out with the with the woes here but your team got the victory solid play on the defensive end as well for CHP you did get six tackles I mean that's something no <laughs> I mean I, I honestly had a better chance of being the defensive player of the game than offensive mm-hmm but you did get a touchdown yeah touchdown yeah something <laughs> But no, we're gonna keep it rolling though. Uh, Charlie Mack with two, uh, Marshall with two, Mojo Rising there with one tackle. Uh, let's see on return game, uh, three point six on the punt return, kick return. The average of uh, fifteen and a half. Solid job. You only had three opportunities, but solid nonetheless. Um, five kicks for Molino, including that dagger there at the end. I don't know how he did it, but he did it, and he got a lot of points there for him and. We we'll check the punting side as we always do post game, and 56% once again for the homie Falco. Tough break on the day for East Augusta. Uh, had a good amount of drops uh, that kind of slowed down some of their drives that looked a little promising, but plenty of time for them to update, get better, show some love to the videos and all the good stuff, and that will definitely help you get better and. Plays like plays and games like this won't be happening as often, you know. So we're gonna just go ahead and run through these really quick because I gotta get moving in just a little bit. But solid day overall. We still got more to go in this one in regards to week number four, and it's gonna be a good one here. Let me see if I can find a thumbnail. If I can uh, locate my streamlabs, there you go. It's gonna be St. Louis taking on Arizona and that'll be tomorrow night at this time here so make sure you look out for it. it's gonna be a real real good one and outside of that you got any other closing uh, statements here I just want to point out CHP has not lost a game uh, <laughs> this season or last season in regards to the regular season you are right uh, no. regular season. good point good point so um yeah they are currently was that uh 16 and 0 in the regular season for the last two seasons so yeah. very impressive and they're doing it with a freshman at the quarterback position in these last four games uh very very nicely done up to this point for chp shout out to beast doing his thing and outside of that we'll go ahead and wrap this one up here i will see you once again for this game that you see on the screen at 8 o'clock on Twitch, and I'll go ahead and upload this game a little bit later uh, tonight on the tubes. Make sure you follow that as well. Get your TPE if you are a player. And outside of that, it's your boy Stax and Colby off of this joint. I will see you for the next one. Ah. <laughs>